Okay, we're going to take a look at the app called Notability, but first uh, we want to go and we want to get a document, and there's a variety of ways that we could get a document. On the screen now, I'm just pulling it from iTunes U, but if you wanted to, you could have an email uh, document emailed to you. You could pull it off of Blackboard. Uh, there's a variety of ways that a student could get to a document or a teacher could get to a document. The app again that we're using is Notability and with this app there's a variety of options. We can take a document a, that already exists, whether that is a Word document or a PDF or some other sort of file, or I could have a student create a brand new document that almost looks like a blank sheet of paper, whether it's line paper, graph paper, whatever would fit my need for that class period. So in this instance, I'm going to use a PDF that was already created and I placed it in an iTunes U course, but again, you could get to it in a variety of different ways. And I'm going to open this document in Notability. Now, since this is a document that already exists, I'm going to click to create a new note uh, but I could also, if I wanted to, take that PDF and add it to an existing note, so one that I already had. So moving forward, I can see on the left side of my screen here that I already have a social studies folder, but a student, they could create multiple different folders to keep their different class documents organized for them, as if they would carry around actual folders. So this document opens up, and I can see the name of the title on the top of the screen, and I'm going to zoom in. And at the cross the top of the screen, I have different options. I have a text icon, I have a pencil icon, a highlighter, an eraser, a cut button, and also just a movement tool. And I'm going to first select a pencil icon because I want to actually start to mark up my document here with text, whether that's putting my name on it, period, or date. And then from there, I basically have a carte blanche of what I would want to do to the document. I can highlight different words, I can place text, uh, I can handwrite lines, I can begin to uh, do some text rendering, whether it's making a note on the side of the page, I can really mark up this, this document. Again, this is a PDF uh, that already existed, uh, but I could do this with a Word document as well, or I could do this with an image if I wanted to as well. As you can see, I'm changing the highlighter color, and I can move on the page very easily. I can drop down from page to page, I can go back between different pages. Um, and add as many notes as I would like to. I can then, if I, if it was something that I would desire to do, I could add text. So perhaps you have an area where you wanted students to type a response instead of handwriting. Maybe it's a little neater for you. So I just use the te text icon. I tap where I would want to start typing. And as you can see here, I'm going to type in sample response to question. I, at this point, I, if there's any other text I would want to add, I could handwrite. I could add whatever I really wanted to to this document that met my needs for it. And at the end of it, I can um, begin to do the process of submitting this to the teacher. Now at the end of this, I can turn this document into a PDF and I can, you can see on the screen, I have an option to email, send this to Dropbox, or I can maybe put this in my Google Drive. So I'm going to, just for this example purpose, I'm going to send an email and I'm gonna send it to my own email. I would hit send and then it would send that marked up document. Uh, to that teacher or wherever I would want to send this. So a student theoretically could send this to themselves as well. Just for an example, I'm just going to delete the draft here, but let's pretend I did go through and I sent that email. It would now be in that teacher's inbox. Uh, I also would have a copy of that document on my, um, in my Notability folder wherever I did place that previously. Now let's say a student would want to create a document on their own or I would want them to create a document on their own. I could just hit a new note. As you can see, it has the date that I started the note. I can select any type of paper that I would want. So if I want real thin rolled paper, I could select that. I could change it to uh, thicker rolled if that meets my needs. As you can see, I can then just change it to the pencil icon and I can start to write on the screen whatever I, I may need. Uh, and I can continue to scroll down and so a student would never run out of paper theoretically. I could also, for a perhaps a math classroom, I could toggle that and swap it to uh, include graph paper. Um, but we'll get more into that momentarily. Uh, if I wanted to, I could record a note with my note. As you can see, I'm tapping on the microphone so I could add a verbal note. Perhaps if I'm in a foreign language class, I wanted to record how to say something. I could also add a photo. But let's toggle the, this to a different type of paper. I'm going to select graph paper. Again, whatever meets my needs. 
uh, I can hit graph paper again and I'm just going to draw up my my coordinate plane here and at the end of this I would have the same option as if I already was marking up uh, an existing document so I could email it to a teacher I could share it on my Google Drive uh, there's uh, many different options so if I wanted to take this graph I could then place it where I would want it